Well, this might just be my most properly sentimental video. Probably for the next five years because I've been making videos for one whole year and I've received so much support and so much attention and it just makes me feel so good knowing that I helped someone. Like for me, talking about technology like earphones, smartphones, watches, me opening up a box got me 13,000 views. That, that's absurd. That's an insane number. I've never seen that on any of my videos before and what can I say I appreciate it <laughs> you see the thing is I never thought I'd be able to get this far I thought like five ten years down the road I'd be stuck at 200 subscribers with 20,000 views and not getting much attention or gaining traction at all but now I'm starting to garner my audience I'm starting to get people watching my videos and I really appreciate you guys for just dropping by and watching a video because it really means a lot to me. And after being here for 365 days, I've learned so much about making videos and retaining the audience attention that it's a struggle to keep up. Like my brain is constantly racing looking for video ideas. I've gone on shopping websites to find strange new products so that I could just take them, put it on camera, and show you guys, hey, there's this cool bit of tech that you guys should probably check out. And I really love doing that. It's one of my passions, my three passions as of right now. Technology, making videos, and gaming. Trust me, gaming content is coming soon on a different channel. But I, you know, eventually I'll make something about it. But yeah, I feel really good about making content on YouTube pertaining to things that I really, really love. Now, uh, previously, like in the first quarter of a year of my content, I've made some strange videos, right? And these weren't exactly the highest obtained best videos I've ever made. No, they're far from the best, right? Some of them you could even say were even the worst. Some of them were just unwatchable, right? Uh, yeah. And now looking at what I've done, looking at Every time I edit a video, like looking at the frame in my video and seeing how good it looks compared to what it was last year, April 2022, it makes me feel good. And it makes also makes me feel good knowing that it makes other people feel good. I've had people come up to me telling me that my videos are fun and I appreciate this kind of feedback. But I also appreciate people who tell me that my content is garbage. I usually ask them, what can I improve? And many a times they can't respond. Or when they respond, I actually work on that. And I strive to make my videos look better. I try to improve on everything that I've done. Like optimizing my audio quality or optimizing my video quality. Improving my lighting get some better lights but this will make do for now i guess what i'm trying to say is that being on youtube for a grand total of one year now has taught me so much about this new industry this relatively new industry that you know recently everyone has been delving into and being able to just go online and chat with people just sit here and talk about things that i love are is such a priority for me and is such a good chance a good way for me to express my passion 
for things that I love. And what can I say? This is one of the best feelings I've ever felt. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning in to my videos and watching them and, you know, enjoying them. I really gotta thank you guys for sticking around. Whether or not you're subscribed, thank you for giving all this support. I'll see you guys in the next one. And trust me, I'll make it better.